friends in Christ, welcome to Wednesday of the octave of Easter. There are times when orders turn to you for one favor or the other. Sometimes what they ask may be more than what you can afford to give at the moment. Is there a way to still meet their needs by providing what you can? Our first reading today is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. In it, we heard the story of a miracle worked by the apostles on their way to the temple just at the beautiful gate. A man, lame from birth, was there asking for alms from those who come to the temple. He asked for alms from Peter and John. Peter's words to the man must have surprised him. I have no silver and gold, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. The man regained the use of his limbs instantly and walked into the temple with them. It became a cause of great joy and rejoicing, a feeling of wonder and amazement led everyone to praise God. It may not be possible for all of us to work instant miracles like Peter and John did. But we always have the opportunity to do things that could bring joy and happiness to others and cause them to praise God for what we have done. Peter's words to the man is a challenge. I do not have what you ask of me, but here is what I can do for you. It is not always you will have money or material things to hand out to the needy. A little smile, a word of comfort, a visit, a prayer, and so on may just do the wonder. In the Gospel of today, taken from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 to 35, we listened to another of the post-resurrection appearances of Jesus. This time, to two of the disciples on their way to Emmaus. They were accompanied by a stranger while arguing on the way about the events of the past few days. This stranger opened their minds to the scriptures which had foretold the events. And they said, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? What gave them the certainty it was the Lord was when he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished out of their sight. The Eucharist is a sacrament of God's love and presence in the world. It is the closest human beings can get to God here on earth. People who deny themselves the grace of this sacrament are either ignorant or have misplaced priorities about how to come close to God. As you approach the Lord in the Eucharist, say with his disciples, Stay with us, Lord. Let us pray. Lord, you have left us the memorial of your passion and death in the sacrament of your love, the Eucharist. Make us worthy to receive you with reverence and deep love, so that we may bring your love to others. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.